What's up guys, my name is Nick Nobu here for Troubleshoot and today I've got a video on Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Breakpoint. It is currently the beta, however this will work for the full release when it does come out. Anyways, I'll be showing you how you can get your NAT type from closed or moderate to open. So to check your NAT type, it's a little bit different. We'll go ahead and start up the game itself and load into the world. And now that we're in the spawn area, let's go ahead and hit escape. We'll head across to the friends tab over here, the lobby tab. And you'll see under join public matchmaking, you'll see NAT status right above it. Currently, it is moderate. So you do get limited, I think it is, which is the one that's worse than this. But we'll be making this open. So the first step is to close your game entirely. Quit the desktop. So check the description for text like this and find PC, PlayStation 4 or Xbox One, whichever one you're going to be playing on and find the ports that are next to it, TCP and UDP. Basically, what we'll be doing is we'll be port forwarding these ports from our router that accesses the internet straight to our PC or device that has Ghost Recon Breakpoint on it. So you'll also need to let this through your firewall as well. I've got a tutorial linked below on how to port forward on any router and I'll be demonstrating it here as well, although you can refer to that if you need extra information. And then on top of that, we'll need to allow it through the firewall. So I've got a website here that I've created as demonstration and it should be general enough to work on basically any router. So what we need to do is we need to copy the first one, they're comma separated. We'll paste it into the external and internal and make sure TCP is selected. Then we need to find our local IP. You can do that by hitting start R, typing in CMD, and then typing in IP config. Look for the Ethernet adapter if you're using Ethernet. Otherwise, look for the wireless and then the IPv4 address and make note of the number here. 192.168.120. So looking on the router's web page, it already has most of it filled in. I just need to add the 20. So we'll hit add now. And you can see that that port is now forwarded from our local router directly to our PC. So let's go ahead and port forward the rest of these. So 14,000, 14,008, then 14,020 to 14,024. TCP, 20, add. Then we have 3074 to 3083, UDP to 20, and add. So once we've done this, we'll need to let it through our Windows firewall as well. If you're using an antivirus with a firewall or third-party firewall software, you'll need to let it through that yourself. I won't be demonstrating that here because there are far too many. Just make sure to use Google for your specific firewall software. So to access the Windows firewall, let's simply press start and type in firewall. Then head to Windows Defender Firewall. And then in here, it just says that it's managed by my antivirus, but we'll head into advanced settings and you'll see this window over here pop up. So head to the inbound rules tab, new rule, and then we'll go ahead and click on port next and then select the entire range here. They're all comma separated, which is an acceptable format here. Make sure TCP is selected, specific local ports next, allow next, make sure all three of these are ticked. Next, and we'll give it a name. We'll call it Tom Clancy Breakpoint TCP. So we'll copy and paste this to the end of a text file just for easy copying and pasting later. So now that we've added the inbound rules for TCP, we need to go new rule, staying in the inbound rule, port, next, select the UDP, and then select the UDP range there, 3074-3083. Next, allow, Next, all three ticked, next, and we'll give it a name. So we'll call it Tom Clancy Breakpoint UDP. Finish. You can call these anything you want. I just have them organized like this for easy access. Then we'll head to Outbound Rules and hit New Rule. In here, we'll do the same. We'll go to Port, Next, TCP, and then copy in the, the range. Next, allow the connection. Next, all three ticked, next, and we'll give it a name. So we'll copy paste. Tom Clancy Breakpoint TCP, finish. New rule, port, next, UDP, select 3074 to 3083, next, allow, next, all three ticked, next, and we'll give it the name, Tom Clancy Breakpoint UDP, finish. So now we've added both TCP and UDP for both outbound and inbound. So you can close your firewall now and close this window and you can close your routers page as well. Then we can go ahead and start up our Ghost Recon Breakpoint beta or the full game if it's released at the time of watching this. It will work for both the beta and the full release. 
Next, we'll go ahead and start up our world by clicking on the character you want to play. Now that we're in game, we'll hit escape, go to the lobby tab again, and you can see Nat status is now open under join public matchmaking. So when you hit that button, you should be able to join matches a lot more reliably, easier, and all of the other pluses that Nat status open gives you, which allows basically any Nat status type to connect to you. If a moderate and a moderate try to connect, it may not always work, and especially if it's strict, then it probably won't work at all unless you're connecting to a host with open. So if you're planning on playing this with your friends, two, three, four players, and you're planning on being the host, i.e. inviting them all, then you should try and make sure that your NAT status is open for the best experience possible. Thank you guys for watching, my name's been Technoba here for Troubleshoots, and I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.